Mitch Roth is set to be sworn in as the Big Island's next mayor on Monday. He'll replace Harry Kim, a man who served three terms as Hawaii County Mayor. Howard Dushevsky spoke with Mayor Kim today and joins us now with more. Howard? Yeah, Joe, for any of us who have covered hurricanes, volcanic eruptions, challenges surrounding the 30 meter telescope, Harry Kim was always working hard, always gracious, always available. Funny when you consider he spent many of his years in an office he now says he never really wanted initially. These photos represent the bookends of Harry Kim's career as Hawaii Island Mayor. His first day on the job after winning election in 2000. And this week as he prepares to say goodbye to a job he says he never really aspired to have. I didn't want to be mayor. You know, I had, uh, Howard, you know, uh, I planned my retirement. And uh, I was supposed to leave uh, and work for a state department in UN right after that, which I did. So that's why when my friends started, kept bugging me, I signed up to run for mayor as a, uh, just to do it to shut them up, really. That first term came after serving 16 years as head of the Hawaii County Civil Defense, where he led the islands through numerous challenges, both man made and natural disasters. In 2004, he ran for a second term. Easily winning re election. I came back because of the same pressure of people and uh, elected the same way and unelected the same way. So uh, I like it that way. It's a job. Uh, I, I know it's ridiculous because I'm a politician, but to me, it's just a job. A job, maybe, but one he served with great passion. And four years later, he says he was pressured to run yet again in 2012, a race he eventually lost to Billy Kinoy by a mere 1,438 votes. Then when Kinoy fell from grace, the result of an ethics investigation into the misuse of a county issued purchasing card, Kim says he was the one to choose to run again, this time on a campaign to restore trust in government. I do solemnly swear. Uh, I want people to trust their government and feel good about the government. He says he'll always be proud for the way he ran his office on behalf of the people that he served. Uh, I think you know that I felt that people trusted because I gave them nothing not to trust. Truthfully, as egotistical as it may sound, I'm, I'll look back all these years, Howard, and there, the staff will tell you we talk about, you know, there's nothing we have to look behind our shoulders as far as doing something that was not illegal or anything like that. Now we continue our conversation tonight at 9 and 10 o'clock. More with Mayor Kim, what he considers his greatest success and his greatest failure. And of course, what he plans to do now is a spry 81-year-old man looking for work. Joe? Thanks, Howard. Yeah, my hero. I hope I'm that spry when I'm 81.